If you are comfortable with fractions, this is a two second question. There's a shortcut you can take here. But even if you're not, the one thing you really should know about fractions is that if you want to make them go away, we use multiplication. And the reason is that a fraction is basically division. So in order to cancel out division, we do its opposite, which is multiply. So if you wanted to treat this as just kind of a normal algebra question, you would see the equation. And then you say, all right, I want to get rid of the divided by 8, the, the over 8. So you would multiply both sides by 8, right? So if a number has, or a, so if you're dealing with a, a situation where you have the same number on the top and the bottom, those gonna, are going to cancel out. So basically what we're doing is we have an 8 on the top and an 8 on the bottom. That goes away and leaves us with just an X on the left. And then 5 times 8 is 40. Now don't bubble that though, right? They don't want X. They want 8 over x. So we do need to do this last step of just figuring, figuring out what that is. You could bubble it, um, or you can put it in your calculator and just turn it into something simpler. 8 divided by 40 is 0 0.2, and that is the answer. Now, we can also get this very quickly by just um, understanding what the shortcut was. So uh, if I go back to this original, um, and I compare that to what I'm being asked. You probably notice the pattern, right? The, the thing that they give us is x over 8, but the thing that they want is 8 over x. So we're allowed to do this move because this is a very uncomplicated kind of equation that they've set up. We can just flip both things over. So if I have, let me do it over here, x over 8 equals 5. To better understand kind of what's going on, we can just rewrite 5 as 5 over 1, right? Because any number over 1 is just the number. So the reason we might do that is that when we then flip this side so that it's 8 over x, we do the exact same thing to this side. So instead of being 5 over 1, now it's 1 over 5. You're allowed to do that. This is okay. There might be cases where there's other things going on and more complicated equations. Maybe we throw in like a plus 3 or something somewhere. That might make it so that this shortcut doesn't work. But if we basically have two fractions equal to each other, the, the order, top and bottom, doesn't really matter. And so if you wanted to bubble this as a fraction, you could. You would just bubble it as 1 over 5, and that is what 0.2 is equal to. So um, personally, I think you should be very comfortable with this move. There are definitely times where it helps us uh, for like various like more complicated questions where we need to understand how the fractions relate to each other. But even if your robotic brain just kind of took over here and you just wanted to solve algebraically, that's fine as long as you don't let your um, robot brain stop here. That's what most people do with the SAT is they just kind of get really excited when they get x equals a number and they stop even when the question asks them to do just like one extra step. So just make sure you're always aware of what the SAT is asking you for. It might not be the just standard X that you're used to.